Okay, so I want to talk to you about set notation and how we can build things up with set notation, because this is something that's new to the A-level and it's definitely different from GCSE. So it's a bit of a recap of what set notation is from GCSE. We use curly braces or curly brackets to list the values that are inside a set. So you may see like that the set A has curly brackets 1, 4, 6 and 7. If A and B are two sets, then A N symbol, which is intersection of B, is the intersection of A and B, giving a set which has the elements that are in A and B at the same time. It's a bit to do with Venn diagrams. Then we have A U B is the union of A and B, and it gives a set which is the elements that are in either A or in B. If you ever see this circle with the line, it is the empty set. There's nothing inside it. Sets can also be infin infinitely large. This N symbol, which is like a capital N with a line drawn through it like this, is the set of natural numbers and it's all the positive integers. The Z symbol, draw a capital Z and an extra line through it, is the set of all integers and it includes negative numbers and zero. And R is the set of all the real numbers, which includes all the possible decimals. So there's R drawn like that. All, all the possible decimals, all the positives, negatives, fractions, everything. And what we write here is that if X is a member of this little symbol here is like a, a C with a line drawn or an E symbol. If X is a member of the set A um, is what that, that sentence means. So X being a member of the real numbers would just mean that X is a real number. So it's quite a lot of information there, but this will come a bit clearer when we start using it. So let's just have a look at this first one. We've got a few different numbers here. I've got one, two and three in a set and the numbers three, four, and five. Now this intersection means that it needs to be the ones that they both have. So the only number that they both have is actually a three. So these two sets that we've got here is actually just a three. Now the second one that we've got here has a union, which means that you can definitely have all of these, and you can have all of these, but I wouldn't repeat writing three twice because I only want to include it once. So it's the union of these. So I would have one, two, three, four, and five for this. And then this one, I have to have it as an intersection of both of them. Well, they don't actually share any of the numbers in common in these two sets that I have in here and here. So this one is actually just the empty set. There is nothing in those two things combined. And it's also possible to construct sets without having to explicitly list its values. So what we use is something where we do a curly bracket. We say what the expression is that we're looking at, maybe something like X, and then we do a colon and then we apply a condition. We might say something like this. So this would be the set of numbers of X, which are greater than two. So you might have things in there like 2.1, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003, 2.003,
you'd get 4. If x was 2 and y was 11, you could get 22. If x was 3 and y was 5, you could get 15. So what do we have here? We had 2 and 2, 2 and 11, 3 and 5. I don't know, you could have 17 and 3, which is uh, 51. As long as they are prime, you could multiply them together and you would get a set of these numbers that we have here. OK, not really a theme that we could say of these ones. And so we previously talked about solution sets. So set builder notation is very useful for specifying the set of solutions. You won't need to set, do any quite as complicated as this, but you will need to use them for some inequalities. So here I'm going to say, can we use set builder notation to specify the following sets? You might like to have a go at doing this and then see what I've come up with. So if you want, pause the video and have a think about how it goes. So remember, you have to start off by saying an expression. And then you do a colon and then you do a condition. So it looks like some of these ones. So the conditions here were sometimes like that. So in odd numbers, all of the odd numbers, I might do an expression of like 2x plus 1. And my condition is just going to be that x has to be an integer. Because if you take an integer, you times it by 2, and then you add 1, you would get an odd number. This one wants us to do all the numbers greater than 5. So first of all, I'm going to specify that I'm just going to say my number I'm talking about here is x. And I'm going to just say that x is going to be greater than 5. If I wanted to, I could say that x is a real number. But you actually won't need to do this in these particular ones you've got here. You can just say, I'm going to specify that x is the thing I'm looking at. And I want to say that x is greater than 5. This one wants us to do the real numbers, which are less than 5 or greater than 7. So I'm going to do, first of all, this is my x. I want it to be less than 5. And I'm going to close this off. Or I'm going to say that x has got to be greater than 7. So I want it to be less than 5 or greater than 7. And this last one I've got here is I want it to be between 5 and 7 inclusive. So I could have written, I want x to be greater than or equal to 5, or I want x to be less than or equal to 7. It says the word inclusive, which is why I've put those or equal signs. Or alternatively for this one here, I could say x such that x is between 5 and 7 inclusive, like this. So just say at the beginning what the variable is and then state afterwards what the inequality is. So these were the answers I had here. We've got all of the odd numbers with x as the integers, all the real numbers greater than 5. So technically you should say this, but because we're talking about this by default, it implies that it's just the real numbers. And again, we had this one here. And I prefer this one of it being combined. I said we could have said, um, oh, I shouldn't have said or here. My mistake, I didn't mean to do that. We should have said it is both of these things true because it's an and. It should have been that and that. So although we could have written it, we tend to write multiple required conditions within the same set. So I prefer this one to this one that we've got here. OK, we're going to have a look now at how we use some of this set notation in inequalities.